If you woke up today and were surprised or maybe even confused by something called Aludo showing up in your subscription feed, you're not alone. I was about to have another one of those, I never subscribed to that moments, until I looked more closely. Upon further inspection, I recognized a lot of videos about Corel products, so I dove deeper into the mystery. It turns out that the Corel Corporation has just rebranded itself as Aludo, so as a longtime Corel Painter user, I'd like to pass on that bit of news and take a few minutes to speculate on what that might mean for the future of Corel Painter. So why the name change? I'm not an employee, so I don't know. But from my perspective, Corel is a rather old company that most people associate with word processing. Then there are the people who think Painter is Corel Draw. I won't get into the rich history of Corel, but you can Wikipedia it if you want to learn more. Needless to say, I think it's wise to rebrand and start fresh, considering how much has changed since the company was founded in 1985. At first, I was concerned that I too would have to rebrand a lot of my content because I am very much embedded in the Corel Painter community. Despite dropping the Corel branding from the product titles on their website, it seems that for the time being, Aludo won't be removing Corel from the Painter product entirely. Think of this more like how Facebook created an umbrella brand to become a meta, but Facebook is still Facebook. Ugh, Facebook. Get out of here, dude. Will they eventually change the name to Aludo Painter? Who knows? I think maybe coming up with a new name other than Painter, which is sort of generic, would be nice. In terms of search optimization, a name like Art Rage or Paint Storm stands out more than Painter or Fresco, which can be obscured by results for other subjects under the same name. The Corel part is the bit that surfaces the right search results. If that's dropped or de-emphasized, it will be hard to find just Painter or Draw in a search. If you're wondering why the sudden change, this has actually been in the works for some time. Over the last decade, the Corel Corporation has been going through a lot of restructuring. In the summer of 2019, Corel was acquired by KKR, an American global investment company, and they named Krista Quarles as the new CEO in September 2020. Now a year later, Corel has been rebranded as Aludo, because their software empowers all you do. As you are aware, the pandemic shook up a lot of things, and I think that was one of the major factors in the changes made at Corel. With many companies permanently shifting to remote work, Aludo seems to be emphasizing their remote work solutions. But Painter and Corel Draw are not really remote work programs like Parallels or Mind Manager are. So how might that affect those illustration products? Might they add collaboration features where artists can work simultaneously on a single canvas? Why not? The technology is there. In 2018, Aludo alluded to that. See what I did there? By acquiring Gravit, which is a web-based vector graphics engine and application. This has since become Corel Vector, a web-based vector design app. Could cloud storage like this be coming to Painter? What I would hate to see is Aludo cutting the illustration software entirely by selling it to a competitor art software company like Adobe. I think Adobe would probably just kill Painter rather than try to merge it into Photoshop or Fresco. One thing that is certain though, is that Painter has a new owner, a new CEO, some new team members, and some new shareholders so I would at least anticipate a fresh direction for the product, and maybe some changes to Painter that might break with convention. After all, Painter was never Corel's creation to begin with. It started as Fractal Design Painter in 1991, but has lived on under several different titles. Would you believe it was even called Procreate at some point? Yet fundamentally, it is still the same great software. Even in the 90s, it had some amazing brush technologies that are still used by artists today. Check out my hands-on demo of an older version of Painter to learn more. This is a new era for Painter, so I'm excited and nervous at the same time to see where it goes. What are your thoughts about the rebranding? Comment and let us know. And if you're new to this channel, be sure to subscribe for more Painter tutorials and check out my video training courses. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.